worst couples ever. I don't know. I just feel like I feel like hello lonely, bro. Like I don't know. I just never felt like this before. Like, but I told you, you don't deserve me, bro. Like. What is going on guys, Shaq Clips here once again, and in this video we are going to check out some wild clips of the worst couples I can find. Now like always my favorite clip will be at the end, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it, but this first one guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically I guess this guy is breaking up with this girl because she had the same makeup on for 3 days. She starts acting like the victim saying, oh I guess you don't love me then, and I guess making claims that he just never had any feelings for her when in reality that's just disgusting. She also started saying if you really did love me you would have told me go take a shower, but I'm like yo you're a grown woman. Woman, you could take a shower yourself when you want to. There's no need for your man to tell you to do that. Basic hygiene is basic. First off, it's nasty. Why the f would you wear your But that's something that you're breaking up with me over? Yes, you. When I say wash your face, I could wash my face today, though. You should have been wash your so face. So you don't even really love me then. What because you if you really love me, you would sit there and be like, wash your face. You wore your makeup for three Days. If you really loved me, you would have sat there and it's told me to wash my face, like, babe, wash the makeup off or something. You would have talked to me you heart to heart, like I'm You're a person grown. that you love, You're rather grown. than talking to me like some random grown. that you just why, started. Why are you wearing your makeup for more than three days? Why? First off, I paid 160 for this makeup because it was for a special occasion. Okay. And the occasion is over with. Okay, and I'm washing the makeup off today. Okay, but it's been three days. Okay, and I'm washing it off no, today, over. but for, for you, you to break up, your makeup with me, for one day, that's it. Okay, first off, you have no judgment about it because you're a dude. And second off, like, if you really love somebody, like, if your must was musty, I wouldn't say, oh, I'm breaking up with you because you no, must be. Musty, I would help you to and buy you some deodorant or tell you to hop in the hey, shower or some shit. The first day, like, hey, you musty, I'm going to fix Okay, but you ain't tell me at all though. You just want to straight break you. up with me. To be honest, I'm also going to say with guys as well, if they smell they don't take care of themselves, the girl should not be with them. If they can't even take care of themselves, they have no right to take care of you. And that goes for girls and guys. Unless they're coming back from work or something or from a workout, they should not be smelling at all. Because that's nasty. That's why I said that you don't love me. Man, you don't you fucking love me then. So Can you please get out? Okay, well, you don't love me and that's it is. You say, never loved me. I guarantee you, if I never brought up this conversation, you would have had that makeup on. Too never. Yes, never. Yes, no, no, would. no, I would not. Yes, would. No, I would not. Why? I have it on for three days. Artist, I don't care. You shouldn't even wear No, it was one sixty, and I. This is day. It was one day. It was two days. And today, the third day that I was finna take it off. No, like you forcing listen, it. No, You're forcing it. And this next one actually pissed me off of how many girls agreed with this girl on the comments. Basically, she's saying she would break up with her boyfriend for a famous rapper. And in my head, I'm like, I guess women really just do chase popularity and clout. And love and affection means nothing anymore. This is a PSA to my boyfriend, right? He just asked me. He's like, Oh, if little baby wanted you and you was with me, would you cheat on me? Duh. It's little baby. What do you think you got that little baby don't? I would be a fool to not cheat on you with little baby. Like, are you dumb? It's little baby. I do you. Are we talking about the same person? Like, why is that even a question? In this next, I'm not gonna lie, this guy did the right thing by kicking, I guess, his friend out of the house. This guy has a girlfriend, and I guess his buddy is liking all of her photos anytime she posts, or I guess on Instagram or anything, on her story, liking it up, all that kind of thing. And I guess the girl told her man about it like she should. And this guy approaches his man, he's like, yo, why look at my girl's pictures? This guy, I guess, is not making up excuses, saying all these things, and also ends up playing the victim card, saying things like, oh, you're choosing a girl over your boy. But I'm not gonna lie, guys, it does depend on the circumstance. If my boy is liking my girl's pictures, he's not gonna be my boy any longer he doesn't respect my relationship so there's no need for him to be around me there's nothing more desperate than a man who doesn't get girls in general you forget the out of my crib that's the thing like that like i can't do that yeah bro because yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna expose this expose yeah. what bro? expose what the type of you is that's what i'm that's what i'm exposing all right tell me what type of i am bro you sit up here liking all my pictures that's the type of you bro, is like, that's the type of you photos, is bro she is bro you like bro. hers out of everybody you like hers the most you talking about? Most, what the f everybody going on? Bro, oh, you, you supposed to be my brother though. You supposed to be my best friend. You like my so, pictures, bro. You like what's wrong with you? Who? Bro, this ain't nobody you with though. This is somebody who I'm with. This is somebody who I love. I can't tell you talking about. Supposed to be with her, bro. She bro, Instagram model, bro. It don't Maybe matter, bro. That's my. Bro, and he's... I don't even like all her photos. He even making that. Bro, that's yes, the f you. Don't, what the, how? Probably, how you, how you, how you swear like, you don't like every picture? I just like her professional she, photos. Bro, like she telling me, she telling me, she said, look, she, she telling me, she said, Bob like all my pictures. I'm every time I look up, Bob like in the bro. picture. I'm I said, I'm what? I'm gonna go holler them about that. That's what I'm doing. I'm holler at you about right now. Right, and I'm look, showing the internet. Look, look, look that's move. That's post. That's cool. Where, where is bro? Yeah, right there. That's our page. Like, no, like, all the, 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 all
Even only the pictures with the bikini. Go back to the ones with the bikini. Now, I'm not gonna lie, guys. What I'm about to say, you guys are not gonna like this. But basically, I also think that if a girl is with a guy, she should not be posting a lot of pictures of herself, especially bikini pics. First off, a girl posting pictures of herself, a lot of other guys are gonna like it. It's gonna cause problems. And a girl wouldn't like it if her guy started liking other pictures of girls as well. I'm not blaming her or anything, but it shouldn't be happening either. No, bro, go back to the one with the bikini. Go back to, nothing, go back to the one with the I'm bikini. Not, bro, I bet you my, won't. Bro, get out my face. I'm not gonna get your mother. Father's a bro. You call yourself my brother, bro? You like all my bitches. Bro, that's that's what fucking mad about. That's crazy. What you mean what I'm mad so, about? So if you had a bitch who's in love with and she's showing and she got pictures, granted she a model. Granted she got pictures when she had bro. I'm not liking that, bro. That's cool, like bro. You're choosing some over your homie, bro. But that's my bro. I ain't got nothing to do about choosing nothing. That's my bitch. Bro, and this next one, I really do feel bad for this guy, and I do think he has some potential, and he shouldn't cut himself so low. Basically, I guess he's just talking about how it feels to be so unattractive. I feel like if you gave this guy a good haircut, put him in the gym, got his teeth fixed, got his life together, gave him some money, I guess got himself some new clothes, he could be way better looking, but this guy just doesn't want to focus on himself, and I guess just wants to play the victim. I do feel bad for him, don't get me wrong, but like I said, he could fix yourself for sure. My entire life, I've been treated quite bad, and like... Just, I feel I feel really alone. I felt like I was gonna search YouTube for people with the same issue as me, and that is being really unattractive. And I've been having lots of issues with that. I have extremely much blue skin, so much blue skin, it makes me look terrible. I have a big forehead. Every video I come across is with a really attractive or normal person and they have no idea how how it really is. If you get the sense that she's ignoring you or blowing off plans for not texting you back in a timely manner or maybe never texting you first in order to seem higher value, let that girl go play games by herself. And this next one's guy really just said, if you can't beat them, join them. In this next one, I'm not sure why this guy did this. I guess he just wants to show off that he has money. Then again, some girls will actually be like this. I guess this guy wants to go out for his guy's night. And you guys know what happens on those nights. You know, he's gonna be hanging out with a bunch of other girls. And he doesn't want his girlfriend actually texting him. And I guess she doesn't mind it as long as she's getting paid. This goes to show that money can really bend anything, even loyal relationships. And men can cheat as long as they're rich. I'm going to go out with the boys. Don't call, don't text, don't annoy me. I'll see you later on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I love you. How much loves? Don't call. How much loves do you love me? Don't text. Okay. Don't annoy. Okay. Do you understand? I don't think I understand. A couple more. <gasps> Is that falling. good? Nope. A little bit. Okay. You're good? I'm good, thank okay. you. Okay. Okay. Don't <laughs> call. Don't text. Okay? <laughs> okay. 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 Bye. In this next one, I'm not sure what this girlfriend was trying to do, but she's not funny at all, and I think this guy answered all the right answers as much as possible. What I was gonna say is if I was dying, would you sleep with my best friend to save me? Yeah. Which one? Whichever one's your best friend. Which one do you think it is? Honestly, it's not a problem if it's any of them, so... <laughs> and this next one's guy is really funny, even though he shouldn't have done this. But I guess his girlfriend's dating a black guy and she's white. And I guess it's Valentine's Day and her birthday's coming up in February. So he decides to play, I guess, the Uno Reverse card and say, Hey, it's Black History Month, where's my gift? It's obviously a skin, he's obviously making a joke, but I found it super funny. Yo, this is the month we're in, right? We're in January. Yeah. We're in January, right? Yeah. This is February. Yeah. February is known for your birthday month, right? Yeah. What's your birthday? February 9th? Mm-hmm. Mm. And Valentine's Day, right? Mm-hmm. In that same month? Yeah. So hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out. Um, You had a whole year to save for my birthday. I did. I did have a whole year to save for your birthday. But 
I had a whole year to prepare for Black History Month. So Black History Month, literally, like you're you're telling me your birthday is more important than than the history of Black people. I'm gonna fuck you up. Th that's what you're telling me. Cause, cause, cause I know it's, it's not. I know it's not. I know it's not. Like like the niggas was like working the fields back then. Like like this is this is my month, all right? This is my month. Your bonus come to me. Any taxes. In this next one's girl got exposed all over social media. I guess in one clip she's hanging out with a guy, and in the other, she's hanging out with another guy, trying to, I guess, get his number and flirt with him. I guess once she found out that this other guy had, I guess, clout on TikTok, she wanted to go for him instead. And I'm like, bruh, girls are really just chase clout, like I said. Wait a minute. I do have a boyfriend. I do have a boyfriend. I have to put this on mode, right? Recording the voice memo, bro. I can really hope you have real shit. But yo, for the camera to hear this, you can't trust these females, man. They be going from guy to guy to guy. Listen, he's got it. Riz, Wait, so BBA got it. Say BBA got it. BBA's got it. And this next one, this guy really just said the right answer. I would have blamed if he said anything else. A thousand dollars or you get to spend the day with me. Which are you choosing? I won't be offended. Thousand bucks. Thousand. <laughs> Rejected. And this next one, I guess this girl decided to gift her boyfriend if there was no girls that popped up on his For You page on TikTok. Now, for the first time, I actually do like this trend. I think other girlfriends should do it as well. And if their boyfriends end up being in the clear and they have no girls on their TikTok, you should do the same thing. I'll get you a PS5 if I scroll through your TikTok and no girls pop up. That's easy. Go ahead. Where's my phone? You did. You break checked me at the light, man. <laughs> I had to hide in the shower. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> now we gotta, now we gotta go. This is the Waco location, correct? Yes. Um, do you have any PS5s and stuff? Several days later. It just sold out when we tried getting it last week, so I ordered it online. It came in. He's a no, spoiled okay. man. And this next one, I really do hate seeing this kind of thing, but basically there's this guy, I guess this girl met him on Tinder, just invited him over to set up her furniture, and then kicks him out at the end of it, and I feel super bad. Some men need to know their worth, and this guy just didn't know. And I'll find my favorite clip on the list, guys. Basically, we have this guy. He ends up, I guess, putting a test to his girlfriend, and she ends up doing the same. I guess she's calling up all her guy friends because she says that they're just friends, and he says, no, they're not. If you give them the opportunity, they would actually go for you. And to be honest, guys, I absolutely agree with this. Guy friends don't exist. They're just waiting for their opportunity, and I guess it showed in this clip. Just goes to show, ladies, you gotta cut these men off because they're just endangering your relationship for sure. And if you don't think so, try it out yourself. What's up, Chris? Oh, what are you doing? Out the house. What's he doing? I'm sad. I've been crying all day. Why? Zay means they broke up. Oh, for real? Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like I feel like hella lonely, bro. Like I don't know. I just never felt like this before. Like I don't know. Mm -hmm. Man, I told you you don't deserve me, bro. Like. <laughs> He's not a man yet. I mean, you need to find a man like me. It's all like <laughs> black as ass. <laughs> okay. And then don't talk to him anymore. I'm not. Ask him, I wouldn't like just be real with me or just like want to just focus on me. Um, he would go out and talk to other girls, and then I start doing that. And my thing is, it just hurt me more than. It did good, you know what I mean? Yeah, I definitely feel that. See, Brad, I, I'm glad I called you. That's why I fuck with you, Brad, because you, cause you <laughs> I was really about to go down the wrong path, but you, you keep me on the right for real. I tried to, man. All right, I'm, I'm about, I'm gonna tap in with you. All right, all right, solid. I know dudes, Brad. They be on game. Girls more genuine. She's solid.
Well, that does it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.